Tools, locally owned and operated. Low price guarantee. We will not be beaten on price. Open seven days a week. 897 Latrobe Street. Power 1031. Power Ranch leaders in local. Listen anywhere you go on the free iHeartRadio app. Your news now. Hi there, I'm Brett Mack with your local news first. Demand for ambulances across the Grampians is showing no sign of slowing down. Code 1 cases grew by 3.3% across the last quarter compared to a year ago to more than 4,400. Ambulance Victoria Grampians Regional Director Peter Jenkins says a combination of COVID, flu and RSV are driving demand. In the Ballarat LGA, paramedics attended 78% of Code 1 patients within 15 minutes, the second best results in the States. Ballarat's deputy mayor has hit back after council's integrity was questioned earlier this week. Liberal MP Joe McCracken had said that council's move to censor parts of a recording of last month's council meeting needed investigating by the state government. However, councillor Peter Eddy says the move was very much in line with council's broadcast policy. Personally, I'm disappointed in that, um, to the best of my knowledge, he didn't uh, reach out to the CEO or to the mayor to understand the situation. He's gone into the house and made these comments and talked about censorship, questioned our integrity uh, as, as a council group, which I find personally very offensive. Nominations are now open for this year's Ballarat Senior Awards. The awards recognise residents aged 60 years and older who give their time and effort back to the Ballarat community. Eligibility for Indigenous residents starts from 50 years and older. This year there are five award categories alongside the Senior of the Year Award with nomination forms available via the City of Ballarat's websites. To sport and both Ballarat minor squads are facing a huge test this weekend with away NBL 1 South prelim finals, the women against Keelor and the men against Sandringham. There will be some local basketball, however, with the minors youth women to face off with Geelong United on Sunday in a semi-final at the Minor Dome. That's the latest in your local news. report has found the Israeli Defence Force knew and approved the movements of aid workers in Gaza before then launching a missile strike that killed seven workers, including Australian woman Zomi Frankham. Former ADF boss Mark Binskin says there was no excuse for the airstrike. A failure to comply with the intent of senior command direction led to the death of one worker on the first vehicle and that a violation of IDF standard operating procedures led to the deaths of the remaining six. Fair Work wants an independent administrator to look into the construction division of the CFMEU in several states. It's filed a federal court application to investigate accusations of criminal conduct and bikey links. Police say there's no doubt an organised crime syndicate is behind the massive meth haul sent to Sydney. 900 kilos of ice found concealed in industrial machines with two people arrested. And the US President and his vice have met with the Americans freed from Russia. A Wall Street journalist and a Marine among the 16 foreign citizens involved in the prisoner swap.
brought to you by D2E Gym. From Delacombe to Wanderee, you're never too far from a D2E. To sport, Hawthorne's mentality is to keep winning as it eyes another big scalp in the hunt for finals. Hawks coach Sam Mitchell is relishing the battle against the Giants in Canberra this weekend. And because every game is keeping our season alive and we're still sitting outside the eight, we know we're going to have to keep winning and, you know, against a team who's in front of us on the ladder obviously gives us a bit of a chance to, to make some more ground. And the Warriors have been given a huge boost for tonight's clash against the Eels with star playmaker Sean Johnson making his long-awaited return. That's the latest in news and sport. Power FM weather. Regional retaining walls. Check out their new range of honed Hampton concrete sleepers and stepping pavers. For the rest of your Friday, becoming cloudy tomorrow, a minimum of three, a maximum of 12. Partly cloudy with showers, most likely in the morning and afternoon.